In this video, we are going to focus on simultaneous linear inequalities. You will find this on page 163 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Simultaneous linear inequalities. If you are given two or more linear inequalities which are connected by the word and, the solutions to each inequality has to satisfy all the others simultaneously. In other words, the solution to x is the common solution to all those simultaneous linear inequalities. Both must be satisfied. So solve the inequalities this and this. We first we find the solution to e each inequality. Okay, so solve this one, solve this one. Illustrate both solutions on the number line. There, there. Okay, the common solution is where both lines run. Okay, so can you see from okay if I have to show it to you in color, I'm going to take a red. It's going to be from here onwards. Can you see that? So from 2, it's actually a little bit bigger than 2 there. But from 2 onwards, so but 2 is not included, so x will be smaller than 2. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 42 and I want you to do just number A. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number A. Three X minus one and two X minus five. Okay. Now if we solve both, let's start. So three X twenty-six plus one. So 3x, so I divide by 3 and I divide by 3, so x is to 9. Okay, so x is bigger and equal to 9. Then I'm going to go on to the next one. So if I take this one, 2x, sorry, let's just... Uh, bigger than 1 plus 5, so 2x is bigger than equal to 6, I divide 2, I divide 2, I do not have to change any of the signs, the signs is correct, then I'm just going to draw my number line, oh, so I'm going to take it in back, okay, so if i on my number line, so uh, this is 9 and 3, is my number line. Okay, so this is going to be, okay, let's just see if we fit in. If we're going to say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So bigger than 9, so if we draw that one, bigger and equal, so it's colored in. Um, bigger than 3, so and equal. Okay, so again I just have to get my pen first. Then I can do this one. And remember what I said, the lines must from where you can see it starts and going to that way. So therefore, okay, this solution will be from 9 on, bigger. So x, uh, and it will be included, so bigger and equal to 9. That will be this is the uh, final answer. We're going to use this quite a lot when we d uh, in um, quadratic inequalities when we go on to the next level of mathematics. So make sure you conquered this in this level of mathematics. So solve the inequalities. 
uh, first we find the solution to each inequality. Okay, again, and now, due to the divide, you have to change the signs. And then again, do you see? And the common solution is where both lines run the gray shaded part. Do you see there? But just make sure that's included, that's not included. So included equal, not included oh, um, only, smaller than three. In the solution, both inequalities point to the left. Very important. Okay, so always point to this side. And then just fill, fill in your smallest and fill in your biggest. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 43 number A. So in this case it's X and again you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So X minus 3 is smaller than 4 and negative 3 X is smaller and equal to 6. Okay let's solve it first. So x is smaller than 4 plus 3, so x is smaller than 7. And then as soon as I divide by negative 3, the sign swap. Then x is bigger and equal to negative 2. And then as soon as I bring in that grid, just to, to find that line, so let's first get the number line. Okay, so if I look, okay, let's just go negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and now x is smaller than 7, so let's just go to 7. Um, okay, let's go to go to this color, white. Smaller than 7, it's no equal sign, draw the line. x is bigger than negative 2 and equal. Draw your line. And now where is the part? Can you see it's from there to there? Okay, so let's just write it down. So therefore, okay, so put your x there. Just want to get my pen. Put your x. This one will have an equal because it's colored in. This one will not have an equal. There will be the beginning. There will be the end. And this will be your final solution negative 2 and 7. Okay, let's look at the next one. So in this case, we didn't look at this one. Solve the inequalities. First find, okay, you find the solutions. You were drawing your line, and then you see, ah, oh, there's no overflowing. So the common solution is we both lines run. This does not happen in this number. So this, the given inequalities have no solution. Very important. Again, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, let's do number B in this case. Okay. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, so it's 11 minus 6x. 8 minus 10x and negative x is smaller and equal to negative 2. So in this case um, it will be negative 6x plus 10x smaller and equal to 8 minus 11. So this will be 4x smaller and equal and this will be negative 3. So if I'm going to find that final solution, I'm just going to divide 4, divide 4. It's a positive, so the sign down swap, and it's negative 3 quarters. 
And there, uh, as soon as I divide by a negative one, I must change it around. So, in this case, if I draw my number line, okay, so three quarters, and I just, this is actually quite a short, okay, so let's just make this. Um, let's just see, this is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 3 quarters, let's, let's mark it there. Okay, so this is going to be a solid and it's smaller. So it's to this side. And then bigger than 2, so again, unequal and it's bigger. Do you see no overflowing? So then you're just going to say, therefore, uh, no solution. Okay, let's look at the final one. Find the integer values of x which satisfy the inequality. Now it's just fractions. Okay, but what they did now, they were putting actually into each other. So you have to separate it. And you separate it by making that one and by making that one. Okay. So then you're going to solve it. Just get rid of your fractions. Okay. And then you solve this one, the same. And then you draw and remember, remember what we said. Uh, negative 3 is square 5 is not. And it's the white area with both solutions. And what was the question? Find the integer values of x. Okay. So from this... It will be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, but not 5, because 5 is not included. Okay. Let's do the final one in this video. So I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 45 number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. Two X plus three Okay, then I want to show you this. You see this? And do you see this? Okay, there's the two. So let's just break it up. So it's going to be 2x plus 3 is smaller than or equal to 5x plus 2. And 5x plus 2 is smaller than 3x plus 28. Okay, let's solve it. So it's 2x minus 5x, and this is 2 minus 3. So it's negative 3x, negative 1. And now remember, as soon as you going to divide by the, oh, sorry. Because as soon as you divide, you have to change the sign. I'm dividing by negative 3. So x will be bigger than equal to 3, okay? Then the next one, okay, let's just see if I, no, not 3, a third, sorry. It's been my feeling that something is wrong. A third. Then this one, it's 5x minus 3x is smaller to 28 minus 2. So 2x, and that will be 26. And then I divide 2, divide 2, the signs stay the same. And then I bring in my number line. Okay, and now um, I'm just going to see that it fits here. Okay, and let's see if, if it fits. I think it can start with zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. It's nice. Okay, so x is bigger than a third. So there's a third. 
not two thirds, it's just a third. Okay, so it's going to be there. Bigger and equal, color in, draw the line. X is smaller than 13. Again, oh, sorry, first pin. It's not colored in, do you see? Then the line. Make the lines long. It's almost like my line was not long enough because then it's easy to see where both. So then this will be from here, can you see? Up to there. And then you're just going to say therefore, okay, and there's your X, and this is equal because it's colored in, not equal. This is going to be one third, this is going to be 13. Okay, but now that was just the first part of the question. The largest prime that satisfied the, the inequalities above. Now, this is the largest, so this is now in this range. So let's start with number A. The largest prime number, now what is the prime numbers? Uh, the prime numbers will be 2, 5, 7, 11. So it will be 11. Then number B, and there's a C also. Um, the smallest prime number that satisfied, and what was the smallest one? That was 2. And the last one, um, the smallest integer that satisfied. Now in this area, what is the smallest integer? That will just be that one. Okay, so you can still draw it and then from this number line, it's very easy to find this answer.